welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Cameron and it is Tuesday and Aaliyah Mae is still awake. She hasn't fallen down for her nap. You're not Dada, you're Aaliyah. Anyways, today is going to be another vlog kind of video, but I am working on my gallery wall. So I have like a mini like photo wall I guess in my living room but I'm not in love with it I really like it but it's just I feel like I can do better so earlier today I went with the kids to Walmart and picked up some picture frames and stuff so I could make my own gallery wall picture frames can get super expensive so um all of these are very ex inexpensive um I'm talking like less than five dollars five six dollars so today might be a little challenging because i have her but she's gonna take a nap eventually and then i can kind of work on it a little more but yeah that's kind of what we're doing today is just hanging out and i wanted to show you guys the process to get my gallery wall whether it's turns out or it's a complete fail we'll find out huh yeah. so i'll show you guys what i have so far and my idea behind it, but can you say hello? What's your name? Lara. Aliyah. Say Aliyah May. Aliyah May. And you're a little stinker, huh? Okay, so I'll show you guys, like I said, and then hopefully she'll let me uh, work on it a little bit. Okay, so for as of right now, these are the three picture frames that I'm working with um, so far that I was able to print out. All of these pictures I just got off of Pinterest. So yeah, I'm not taking credit for any of these uh, photos that you see. This is none of my work. It's all things I found offline. So I love the like minimal fine line drawing look and also like quotes and kind of like boho neutral like modern type stuff i'm trying to kind of mix all of it and also make it family friendly for like the living room so i love this one because if you didn't know i have two kids and then me and my husband so i thought this was just so cute it's like exactly their age sizes for their hands i have a two and a half year old and then Aaliyah, she's one and then i found this cute little one and this one and these two came these picture frames came in a pack of three um here's the other one they came in a pack of three just like this eight by ten and it was like less than six dollars for all three of them so then i got four of these little mini ones because i just figured i have to figure out how to rearrange them but i wanted like differences in sizes like huge differences so i got some really big ones too but these were 96 cents, I believe, a piece. So I got four of those. So still less than $5. And then I got two of these, I think, two of them. Yes, two of these. So this is gonna be a little bit harder to find something to put in because all my printer does is like normal printer paper size. So I'll have to figure out what to do for that. Um, so three of these, two of these, one little square one, four of these. I got another matted one. I only got two with the mat in it because they, they were a little more like expensive. They still were only like $2, $3, but, um, I just didn't want the mat in everything. I feel like sometimes it can get a little too busy I guess I don't know I have no idea I'm just kind of like winging it but I got one of those and then I got this huge one um so we will see but that's what we're working with for now I've seen people like use this stuff to kind of map out the outline for where they want to put the photos and then I got this stuff to hang it it says it holds up to two pounds and it's a big roll of it so hopefully I just need like a little piece what you want more snack is that keeping you preoccupied there you go 
one for each hand. So now I will show you what I already have. I have these picture frames, but I think I'm going to take some of the pictures out and put in like artwork, kind of like what I found over there. I'm gonna obviously keep Mark's picture and that's like a little sign I found from Hobby Lobby. I painted the outside black. You can kind of tell I missed a few spots, but from far away, it doesn't look bad and I feel like it's just not that big of a deal. So um, it was like a tan and white border, which was super cute, but it looked really weird with all of my black picture frames. So I just had black paint, I'm gonna paint it white and somehow incorporate all of these, or at least some of these into the gallery wall. And then I am planning to do it on this big wall. I hope it doesn't look weird once I take that stuff off. Um, but this is like the view from kind of like this side of the room. And I feel like just a like bigger gallery would be really pretty right here or not like i said it could be a fail but we're gonna try my house is a mess but we're working with it so anyways here we go just so you guys know kind of what i was talking about when i say i got it from pinterest so as you can see there's a lot of like images and stuff that are already framed out kind of like showing you like examples of it but what i do let me put you down and see if you can see this. So like you just kind of scroll. And so this is kind of like something that I would be going for, maybe not that exact one. So you can kind of scroll down and just look for more options. Um, and then I see this one and this one's like really minimal and cute. And so what I would do is save this. I do it all off my phone because it's easier to print on my printer through my phone. I have an app for it. It's just like a printing for your specific printer. Anyways, you can print from your computer if you want. You just save the uh, picture, download image, or save to your device. And then it saves as a plain photo. And then you just go ahead and print it out. You can choose your sizing and crop it with your printer, however you would do that. But um, yeah, this is just kind of the process. Um, this is another thing that I would probably look more into, like flower design, but it's very minimal. There's not a bunch of colors, so you can get away with mingling it into all different kinds of wall art. But I just wanted to share that. I'm kind of rambling now. So anyways, if you want to know how to get your own free wall art, that is a little hack. I just laid Aaliyah down, so I'm going to go ahead and start mapping out my picture frames, or I guess I should say like the border. So I saw people put like scotch tape. This won't like peel off your paint on your wall, so I'm just going to make a border the size I think I want it, and then uh, I think I'm gonna lay the picture frames on the floor in like different arrangements and see which one I like best and go from there and then I'll hang them because it's a pain to hang them and then unstick them stick them somewhere else and do that whole process when I could just figure it out first and then do it so here we go <laughs> this looks it's kind of um is that off center is it like really bad kind of huh kind of goes at an angle but for the most part you know what it looks good okay <laughs> I 
permanently, but I kind of like this look actually. Um, I don't know. I could sit here and probably rearrange these all day, but I don't really have the time or energy to do that. So I will see you guys when I pick my final outcome, but I kind of like this. So maybe it stays the same. I don't know. Okay. Just so you know, um, little miss never took a nap. It's been absolutely crazy. She's on another level, but so is life. Um, I think I figured out how I like it. Um, I filled up some more of the picture frames. I tried to do something here. I don't know what that is. I don't love it, but I'll take it out. And I'm just going to kind of fill in the other ones and then hang them up. So we will see. So you basically kind of saw what I've been doing, just sticking these little sticky wall hanger things on um, the back of it and pressing it on. I thought I had an idea and then it didn't line up how I thought it was going to. So I'm kind of just hoping for the best and we'll see. I'm going to take those down uh, eventually, but I'm just trying to figure this out first. I really hope. Oh, wow. Good job. I really hope it looks okay, y'all. I'm a little nervous, but I can always fill in any spots that I think with other picture frames eventually. But for now, I just hope I make it straight. Good. Okay. Here we go. Anyways, I'll show you guys when I'm somewhat completed. Okay. I think I am all done. Besides that big black. I made you so proud, thank you. He said that earlier when I asked how it was and he said you made me so proud. So this is how it looks. I actually really like it. It took all day because the kids were up and crazy and stuff, but I actually really like how that turned out. I just have to take that one lone picture frame off and I'm really happy with it. I think it turned out really good. Like I said, that. Thank you. Like I said, that big black picture frame, I just have to find something to fill in that I don't have anything that big and the photos I was printing out just weren't big enough. So I'll get a little closer and show you guys what I ended up putting in there. So I have just some sayings, like quotes. I actually really liked this one. I found the, um, I'm sorry, the glare is really bad. I found the picture on Pinterest and then I just put in Kylan and Aaliyah's birthday underneath. Like I said, I already had that one. Some signs that's family pictures. I just left those in there because I feel like they go fine. And then those and that's it. So there you go. Kids crying. Kids, kids excited, but there's your Walmart homemade photo gallery. Anyways, I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. That is my, like I said, Walmart DIY homemade photo gallery. If you are looking to do something on a budget, I highly suggest checking out your Walmart uh, picture frames. If you don't have one close to you, you can find them online, at least some of them, I believe. They're not sold out, but this was fun for me to do. It took a long time, and my original floor plan was not what ended up turning out, but I love what turned out. So, anyways, the things inside are probably gonna have to stay because I used some of that command, like super extra sticky 
tape stuff and I pulled one of them off and it kind of pulled some of the wall off. So that one's hidden by a different picture frame. That's all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're gonna go take a bath. She has been grumpy. She never ended up taking that nap. So it's been an adventure today. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed my craziness of a DIY video. Do what? The way for me go. What? The way for me go. Don't wait before you go? Uh-huh. Give this video a thumbs up if you did like this video. And comment down below if you have any other tips or ideas you like to do for your own gallery wall or that you've seen. But that's all. Make sure you subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my other videos. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Bye. Say bye. Bye! 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 Bye!